Welcome to the first Mock Monday of the summer. Sorry, this took a little while to film. And get, well, film, of edit, and upload. Uh, I've been very busy. But anyway, let's get into it. This week we have, for this week we have the, for our mock this week we have the Tainted Floor Hallway. Quick, uh, little background information about why I built this and why well, it's the shows it as the first mock monday a little while back I, on my instagram i held a vote for what should be my next stop motion and it was a landslide victory for star wars so I immediately got to work but if you've been keeping up with the vlogs you know that i've had to halt production on that until i've finished moving but before while well, i was also when i started shooting everything i had to build this hallway to film some shoot some scenes in. I haven't shot all the scenes in it yet, but I finished building it. I got building out on it, finished it, and so yeah, thought I'd showcase it for Mock Monday. Uh, we'll start around with the main hallway. This is the first part I built. I started with these little, these small columns with the stack of snot bricks and these little slope bricks. I didn't have any normal 2x2s uh, or 1x2s uh, bricks to use. And then I have a plate, the grill plate on top. On the bottom is corner. I don't have any normal. I have to, I have to make do with what I have. So I don't have everything I should. Like I would, I would need to build it with, build it out with, but it's, it is what it is. Um, you can see I have I have the very wide hallway here. I want to make sure I was able to shoot everything and fit out all the main figures in. You can actually see the walkway path for C three P and R two D two as well in there. Uh, <laughs> but in there right now I have two stormtroopers and the rebel trooper. Just ways that you see what I have going on there with that scene. Uh, as a it's a more recent addition, but I have the door as long as the wall back there. And uh, yeah, I'll just mention these panels on the side with the hinges they're on hinges i had a few of these uh two by six plates but uh you can see around i only had like four of them around though to use so i didn't i just switched to my two by twos i actually used all my white tiles on this so i used a lot of white tiles making this and but it looks good so i knocked over one of the figures in a different room um, anyway, moving along here, we have C-3PO and R2-D2 walking down the hallway. I thought I, I moved them from the original spot, but yeah, the, this, I feel like this worked. Uh, so you can see, this is the walkway, this is supposed to be for the Rebel Trooper. Uh, you'll see that in the stop motion, but yeah, you can see more of that same wall pattern going along. The ends were actually, uh, three studs wide instead of the normal uh four for the panels so i had to like do a little adjust a little bit of adjusting there and so you have these cool three by these cool three stud panels instead of the normal four stud ones i have going along here um they're on both sides all around you can see it so yeah they're pretty cool uh, you can see I, I even got to a point where I ran out of 2x2 two two tiles as well. You can see that along here. Um, moving on to the next part I built. After that, I moved on over here to the back side with this hallway. This wall is actually removable. The there. I mean, technically, all the walls are pretty removable. Just flick it. But this is actually supposed to be removable. So I can get the camera angle in there. But, go back on. There we go, back on. You can actually see, if I put this one back, it's like one stud taller. It's taller one, it's, it's, it's like one plate taller than the other. And then in between all these walls, I have these four of these posts. So there's four walls, four posts. These are actually two of the wall pieces high, but I still kept them in because it's just like, I like the look of it even though it looks like they're just standing out from the bill. Don't mind me if I broke something over here. Uh, 
Um, oh, I, I don't know if I, hold on, I'll shut the door off since so shut off the door real quick. This is the door I did. It's not entirely accurate because I know in, in the actual movie it's all white, but I couldn't get that effect pulled off because I couldn't find my white plates. But uh, yeah, you can see a walkway path of the jumper plates all the way down and then along at the end we have R2-D2 and Princess Leia recreating that scene. Uh, moving on, the next part I built, I also have these cool doorways also for the corner. The corners and the doorways were like some of the hardest things to figure out. I had to get the paneling right on. But you can see, uh, basically I have these uh, one by one by one corner snot bricks attached here. And then it's also raised up because of the panel right there. But moving on to the next thing I built was this room. Now you might, not, you might notice it's a different, well, why is there one by eight plates? Well, I made a trip to the Lego store and they had one by eight plates. So I bought some. Uh, I kind of didn't space these out right. If, I, I should have spaced these out a little better, but it's supposed to be like that. One scene after they capture Princess Leia, uh, I'll show a picture right here. But uh, I didn't get the spacing right, and he actually notices the older Darth Vader. I could not, when I was setting this up the other day, I could not find my other Darth Vader. Also, their keychains, I ran out of normal figures. I only have one Princess Leia, I thought I had more than one. Couldn't find any other Stormtroopers, couldn't find Darth Vader. But, uh, yeah. And then for this one, I try going, I went with the same idea for the walls, but it's different. So on um, this, so it's attached the same way, but it's all one by eight plates and some plating at the back. And it's actually uh, kind of an illegal building technique here, uh, the way I have these in, because, oh, I'm knocking over the other wall. Because this right here is at an angle. I put have it in there at an angle. So if you see, when I reattach that, it's kind of like pushing against it. It's kind of hard. It's hard to tell, but I can notice it pretty well. Well, I, yeah. Now, moving along to the final part of it, the, this area. I also, so again, Removable walls. Actually, this one's not supposed to be removable, but uh, it came off anyway. Uh, I think it's supposed to be removable, though, is the idea. Um, but, yeah. We also have this. I also have that. I ran out of plates, and it was like two sets short, so you had to use two by four bricks here for this part. And I had to. Actually, I did the second green plate. I had these. You can see random colors in the background. It's just because that's hidden details. It's like hidden things. I used more color for pieces to build it up, so I didn't waste pieces. But yeah, you can see there's supposed to be a second plate there, but there isn't. I had to remove it. This is also removable, even though I don't like it. It is. Uh, but yeah, these walls, jumper plates connected, so it's removable. This one I might have to reorganize so it is removable. I think I might have ran out of jumper plates. Either that or I ran out of one by sixes, whatever she's using to keep the wall level. And then over here you can see we have the escape pod, which I'll read this. It's a very I ran out of the uh actually I didn't run out of them. I wanted to make sure so it doesn't stick out. So I'd use the these pieces, the uh snob other different snob bricks. On their side and attach them with like this. This is the pattern I'd use. So it looks a little funky, but it's okay. And again, see through view keychain. Uh, but that's like all one wall build. It's connected. There's a one by six right here. You can see because of the brick. So it, it's it's connected. It's all connected. Uh, so so and it's all removable. But uh, yeah. That is pretty much the entire build. Uh, it's all on this one white base plate. I didn't think it's a 32 by 32 base plate. So it's all on this here. I'm just putting these keychains back in there. Don't, I'm not really too worried. I'm removing these. I basically just added in there. This room is just an extra room because I had space for it. 
But, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're not here. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss this month's Mock Mondays. Where we, t where we go and travel through time. With our three different Mock Monday builds. Which, the past, present, and future. Which you'll see. And next week, which you'll see. And we'll start with the past. And you'll see that next week. <laughs> you'll see that next week with the past. And next month, next week's Mock Monday. Uh, go check out the other Mock Mondays if you haven't already. Wait, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description box below. I'm talking too much right now. So I'm just going to end the video right here. Alright, peace.